Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. In this video, I'm just going to quickly go over pricing for replacement parts and labor for these old camcorders. So if you have camcorders um, or you've got a business, you know, and you're not replacing your parts or you've got problems, the parts and labor for all this old stuff is not cheap because the factories that made all these parts closed 30 years ago, the assembly lines or more, longer. This is a, a mid 1990s. This is a PAL, P-A-L, PAL Video 8 camcorder, high eight as well. And um, in the States here, PAL equipment, very rare, um, but you need these players to play back PAL tapes. So I do have customers from Europe, Australia, etc. that send me stuff. All they live here in the States and they hand over tapes. And I'm like, oh, by the way, this is PAL. Um, so this um, head assembly motor right here gone bad. So when I was putting the tapes in, it was just beeping with a blue screen, please eject tape. It just would, it would play for a second or two. And then it would just beep, 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 beep to eject the tape out. Luckily the tape did come out. But um, this little piece right here is specific to PAL players, not NTSC. So you need specific, even though they look exactly the same, they don't work the same. So this little piece had source from eBay, uh, or at least I didn't. Tim at Arizona Video Electronics next to me did. If you are in Phoenix, he does fix camcorders, audio equipment, etc. But if you are outside of the area, he does not do mail order. But just to give you a quote uh price here uh replaced head motor tested head motor assembly 95 dollars labor was a hundred so 203 dollars to replace this little part here and what you know if you sent your tapes off to other companies and they're telling you that they won't play or there's a problem with your tape it most of the time it's the players they're not replacing parts they can't source them they don't understand their own technology you know that they're using day in day out so they just go oh all your tapes are bad and most people are getting charged um got a little of a leaf blower um and trying to find parts for all these old players now is just getting you know it's not dire but it's getting up there especially parts that work and also trying to find vcr repair people because they all shut up shop years ago and now you know if you are thinking of going to college or university to the younger crowd out there and you're like yeah i'm gonna spend 150 grand on you know some bs degree that eh, become a VCR repair person because you will be in 10, 20 years, the only person doing it and you can charge what you like if all of this stuff even survives past that point. Um, so it's just something about this industry that not many people, especially consumers that are just searching around for companies to do this stuff, don't understand how you know limited all of this stuff is, parts and skilled labor that know what the hell they're doing. Um, especially, you know, with all of these different formats, it's just, um, and I'm not even going to talk about film. <sighs> yeah. So Tobin cinema system, you know, all of the, all of the gears, this is all bell and Hal stuff that is, you know, taken off of projectors, all the intricate parts and belts and gears and all that stuff behind, uh, all of that is just whew, forget about it. Um, it's it very, very tricky and detailed uh what but um yeah so that's basically the video here is just letting you know when i got this i'm like god damn 203 dollars yeah if you're looking to buy these things on ebay etc or uh you know goodwill whatever most of the time they don't work um or they got problems yeah so it's very um yeah it's becoming yeah so but yeah this little piece right here this is the, the the head motor right here that was taken out so the new one's in there hopefully it works but um yeah anyway so there you go that's just the price of business um so all right cheers